Because they're always going to force a lot of errors, but did it feel to you like a lot were unforced? It felt like you had a, a lot of numbers going down the court and still turnovers. Yeah, you know, they haven't forced a lot of errors this year. That's not this year's team, West Virginia team. I thought some of them were forced. I thought some of them were unforced. I thought, you know, we had some travels. We had a we cut it to five in the first half. We got a defensive rebound, and we tried to outlet it to our center. So that's unforced. And so, again, this West Virginia team is different from previous teams, certainly last year's team. And so, you know, they're not forcing as many turnovers as they have been, uh, but they certainly did today. Again, some of it was them, some of it was us. And I'm probably sure Hugs would say the same thing because we, I think we forced them into 27 or 26. And so, uh, you know, it was an ugly game, a sloppy game from that standpoint, uh, but I thought it was two teams that battled and competed like heck against each other. Xavier had some spectacular moments and then some like the behind the back one where you turned to the scores table. It was sort of up and down. Do, do you live with that with a talented young guy? Yeah, you know, we have to live with it. Um, you know, I thought in, in that situation to start the second half, I thought he was playing like he was hurt. You know, he took a hard fall in the first half, landed on his back, uh, went out and obviously, you know, had some pain. But as a young guy, you have to learn to play through the pain. You have to fight through it. Either you can play or you can't play. And if you're out there, then you have to be able to push through it. I thought in that instance, to start, I thought he wasn't himself. And he came back to the bench. We took him out. And I thought he played pretty good basketball for the rest of the game. Um, look, you know, you have to live with some of the mistakes that he makes. We're, we're a young backcourt. We're an inexperienced backcourt. But I'll tell you what, I wouldn't trade him for anyone. Those two guys, you know, our, our guys compete. They fight. They battle. Um, and they're going to get better and better. What did you need to get uh, happen on offense to get some guys other than Xavier and Trey going? Well, we, we, we had to uh, attack their pressure without turning the ball over um, in, the, in, in the full court and the half court. And then we needed to make shots. You know, we got some good looks at times. I thought Jared Wilson Frame got some really good looks. We just couldn't make them. But that's what their pressure does to you sometimes. They speed you up. And we have to, you know, going forward when we're playing against teams like this, we have to be able to have the poise to be able to knock those shots down when we have the opportunities. Jeff, did it feel like a rivalry? Sure. How so? I mean, when? I mean, it's a rivalry. They've been playing this game forever. There was a lot of emotion in the game, so, yeah. I know on, uh, on Monday night when you talked about rebounding, it seemed like sometimes they were talking about effort or focus. Uh, you got out-rebounded today, but did you feel like the effort was better? I thought it was seen? better. We just have, you know, we, we, we have to go after the ball. You know, for us at times, we still stand and watch, and, and, and it's, it's almost like we think someone else is going to get it. And we don't have a guy that's a double-figure rebounder. You know, I've, I've coached a guy that led the country in rebounding. You know, I, I coached two guys last year. I was an assistant last year. We had two guys that averaged double-doubles. And so when you have that and you can leak out, you know, we still have guys at times leaking out. We have to gain rebound, all five guys. And, 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 and the faster we learn that, Every time, and what it is is that it's changing habits. You know, it's it's changing habits. The young guys don't have the habits yet, and the returning guys don't have them because it's not something, you know, they did last year. You know, they weren't a good rebounding team last season, and so that's something that we have to continue to work on and get better. I thought the effort was better today to do that, uh, but we still have to pursue the basketball and go get it. With a gang, with uh, with gang re uh, with gang rebound, Jeff, and you know, in terms of. Of how you guys embrace in terms of how effectively they do it. How far in that process do you like? Do you feel like you guys are to, to become the same suitable, saying that you guys can sort of? Yeah, we're not them? close. We're not close. I mean, we're getting out rebound, so we're not close. We have to keep getting better. There were a lot of fouls in the game, Jeff. Was, was the game too physical? Maybe. That's your judgment. Uh, you know what the game was, what it was, and it was very physical. Uh, but the game was what it was. You alluded to the fact Bob's had to do some different things defensively. What were you anticipating you would see from West Virginia in this game? Well, I knew they, you know, pressure. You know, I knew they. I, I, you know, we felt like they tried to keep the ball out of X's hands, and they did that at times. Um, at the end, they went to a little one-three-one. Uh, but you know, they were just, you know, they they were very aggressive, very physical. They attacked, and they keep bringing bodies in and keep coming after you. Jeff, were you happy with what you saw from your own team when you put on a full court press and it seemed like you gave them some troubles and worked your way back into it? You know, I was happy with the way we fought and I was happy with the way we competed. We just have to be a little bit smarter. You know, coming into the game, we knew West Virginia was averaging a lot of turnovers. And so, you know, we felt like that we could put pressure. We tried it in the first half and we didn't do a good job. We weren't aggressive in it. 
and we didn't go to the right spots. In the second half, we did a better job. We forced them into some turnovers. We were able to get back and put a little game pressure on them. Uh, but you know, for us, we have to minimize all of our mistakes. We need to minimize as many things. Our, our margin for error is is very very low, and you know, we, we have to protect the ball, we have to value it, and we have to go get it. And we didn't do those two things at a at a reasonable level this afternoon to put ourselves in a position to win. And with that, we still had opportunities. What do you tell your young guards when they go up and get? Stuffed by a guy like Kamate, who's one of the best shot blockers in the yeah, country. Yeah, keep attacking. Keep attacking. Jeff, do you want to see the series continue beyond what the contract currently stands? You know, I don't know what the contract currently stands, but sure. Sure. All right. Thank you, Jessica.